We just lost him. <laughs> we left him on the beach at Aberystwyth for a bit of fresh air, and the tides, tides took him away. Mum says he's probably gone to a better place, so he could be anywhere, really, couldn't he? <laughs> but I'll miss him shouting me to sleep. Uh, mind, I never really understood him, because he used to speak in Welsh, and I'd listen in English. <laughs> of course, Nan was very upset about the whole thing. She told me about the first time he was taken to hospital. All they could offer because of the NHS cuts, all they could offer was a self-drive ambulance. <laughs> None of us could drive. So what they did was they got the man who drives the Mr. Willie ice cream van to come round and he took him into the tuna green sleeves. <laughs> well, I don't know what normally happens to people who go to hospital. They die. Well, that didn't happen. Didn't happen to him. But he did say, just in case the worst came to the worst, he wanted his walking frame to be recycled into coat hangers for the... <laughs> Same the man he was, always thinking of others. I know he used to think about Mrs. Guigi next door quite a lot. <laughs> But I don't know what they're going to do with his hearing aid. Uncle Pope made it for him. It's brilliant. He could even hear people talking about his back behind him with it. <laughs> Trouble is, it weighs three quarters of a ton. <laughs> so, what Uncle Pope had done is he'd put it on a little three-wheeled chassis and given it an engine. So if ever you're talking to somebody who drives a Reliant Robin, remember to speak up. <laughs> anyway, all this trouble, I've got my nan going again, because she's not well, she's got a phobia. She's afraid of the floor. No, oh, she'll call me into her room in the morning, she'll say, Shadwell, is it still there? Yes. So she'll stay in bed all day. <laughs> and it got quite serious, so she saw a psychiatrist, and he said to her, well, look, why are you afraid of the floor? Why aren't you afraid of something sensible and dangerous, like heights? She said, it's not heights that kill you, it's the floor that does that. <laughs> so... Now the psychiatrist is seeing a psychiatrist. <laughs> I was too upset to write a poem this week, really, so I thought that I'd give you a recipe instead. It's for a boiled egg. <laughs> Here it is. One egg. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>